Hello, hello, my darlings. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Sophie, and today we're going on another little dream island tour. I'm so excited. I got my little balloon. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm all dressed up. We're ready to go. So this is the town of Lavendia, which was designed by Luis. I'll have all her socials linked down below, as well as the dream address, so you can visit yourself if you'd like to. And let's go ahead and get started here. I'm so excited. I've um, got a little sneak peek of that map already. Look how cute this town is. Um, in case you can't guess by the name, she is a little purple themed island. Uh, I love me a good color themed island. And everything is decorated. Beaches, interiors, everything. So this is going to be a great tour. Um, I don't know how to say uh, her name. I think it's Loisen. I asked several of my Swedish friends and they weren't even sure either. So we're, we're just taking a guess. Um, but we've got some other cuties. We've got Sheldon, Muffy, Ozzy, kind of an interesting mix of villagers. Um, I like this. I like some people. I feel like Sheldon is an underrated king. Ozzy's an underrated king. Um, and I'm loving all this terraforming. I love all the waterscaping. And yeah, the dream address is down there at the bottom, and it'll also be in the video description uh, if you want to tour along, which I always recommend because I'm always missing things by mistake. But right away, I am just loving the vibes. I love towns like this that are just super like overgrown and natural. Love me a good dirt path. And right up front, we have the museum, which is a little tent. Little, little Blathers got his cute little museum tent and he's growing a bunch of lavender. I love these diagonal flower fields. I've never actually done this before, I don't think, doing like a, a diagonal field like this. This is so pretty and I love the way they look with the little white cosmos. The little yellow uh, centers really pop. Very cute. Also, I didn't mention, but yeah, Luis left a bunch of Perezis by Resident Services, which included this outfit and my balloon that I'm very excited about. So don't uh, forget to grab those if you tour the island on your own. I love us a, a wheat field. And we've got a cute little railway that go, rail, railway. Oh my goodness, already struggling to speak. We're like two minutes in, I'm already struggling. <laughs> Goes into this cave here and I love, there's like little purple flowers. Love the details. Like I said, I love super colorful islands and I love when everything is like matchy matchy or like single colors. I think that's so fun. But I think that's perfect having a little rail station right in the front entrance. Oh, and we've got a cute little beach to go relax on. I love this path code too. The little purple and white flowery path. It's so pretty. Got our little shower for cleaning off afterwards. Oh, it's a whole spa. So you've got like a nice tub to soak in. It's like the whole works. This is like gonna be for the perfect beach day. Just relax, enjoy, have some snacks, play your little ukulele. Love that for us. I'm gonna check out, okay. I was gonna say check out this whole beach, but this is it. <laughs> this is the end. Definitely don't want to miss the beaches. I know a lot of people struggle to decorate their beaches, so I got to show them when they're done. And we've got a bike rental, and I don't feel like I've ever seen a bike rental shop that actually had a bike helmet on display. We love that. Safety first. We got our, our little safety cones. We are extra careful in this town. And we have a cute little cafe here. This is so precious. I love the combo of the little curtain partition in front of the storefront. It makes it feel like a real building. I love that. And we've got the little uh, kind of, what is that, like a pour over? How would you call this? I don't even know what you would call that. The cute little coffee brewer thing, kind of like what Brewster has. Before we head that way, I know I already skipped over some stuff. So let's go back this way quick. There was another little uh, cafe moment over here that I literally just ran past. This one's a little bakery. Love me a good fake building. I'm trying to get better at doing these sorts of builds, so I really appreciate the inspo. We've got um, these little stalls here. What is that? Covered counter with all our foods. Got my lovely peach pie. It's one of my favorite items in the game. And then the little dessert case tucked behind the castle archway. That's so pretty. Love it. 
And of course, the purple tablecloths to bring us back to our purple theme. That is so perfect. Yep, and that was right next to our little um, train station. So let's head up this way. I think this is resident services up here. Yes, it is. I see my bed in the distance. I love just this big, huge sitting area. This is so nice. I love the mix of like, these are truly my favorite towns where everything is very natural and overgrown, but you also have these kind of elegant areas, like this little very symmetrical plaza here. Ooh, let me get a photo. This looks so nice right here. My bed is kind of ruining it in the back, but <laughs> I should I should get a, a smaller bed for these dream tours because she's tall. She's she's blocking in the, the whole background, but I, I love this. It's so pretty. And the little flower patches in the dirt, in the in-game dirt, it just makes it feel a little more formal. Like they were like actually planted there purposefully and not just like super overgrown. Let's go to the right first. I want to start the whole right half of the island and then make our way towards the left. I think that's a good, a good um, a strategy. I'm sorry, even in a dream town, if I see a twig, I have to pick it up. I just, I can't let it sit there. <laughs> I can't not. Um, anyways, we've got a cute little post office right next to resident services too. This is such a great idea. Um, most of my island is flattened right now, so I'm really trying to get some cute ideas. And I think both of these are cute. That little sitting area and our post office right up front. I think those are both perfect builds to have right in front of resident services. And I love this, the little maypole, and it's sitting on this super flowery path so perfect and i love that it matches the color scheme it has kind of like purpley flowers in it too so pretty all right let's look down this way before we go up that incline i see we have nook's cranny looking cute we got our shopping baskets we've got some veggies it's kind of giving like a little you know your local market that has all sorts of cute little goodies love it Oh my gosh, and I love this street. I love how the street code, there's like a little divider in between. That is so smart. I'm really bad at laying out street codes like this, whether it's a real, you know, uh, asphalt street code or a dirt code like this. I never think to do this. I always end up just doing it in perfectly straight lines. I love that there's a little divider and it's diagonal. That's so fun. Well, let me say hi to Miss Lily here. You know, look familiar. I've had Lily on my town like six different times. So the fact that she's saying I don't look familiar is like kind of a dig. She's like, oh, remember me? I'm that villager you've kicked out like 17 times. I'm so sorry, Lily. I love her, but there's just so many normals. There's so many cute normals. I, I always end up picking someone else. Um, this is so perfect. Just the tiniest perfect little picnic spot. We got our sandwich, we got our book, we got our little ukulele guitar moment. I could just sit here forever, love it. And a little music box over here, that's so nice. I never get tired of little picnic spots. And this cute little table here, just on the side of the road, so nice. Love using the flowers decor. I always forget to do picked flowers as like dropped vases. I think it's placed. Dropped, it's just the flower. Placed, it puts it in that cute little, that cute little bud base. I love it. Oh, we got a duck. Mr. Ducky hanging out by the fountain. Oh, I love it. I also love, love, love this path code. I know I've used this before on, um, I think some past islands of mine. And oh, it's such a good code. Okay, let's check out this whole beach. Ooh, we got a yoga moment. So nice. I have been so out of practice with yoga. I love doing yoga and I always mean to do it more often and then I just don't make the time for it. I really want to push myself, especially as summer is here and it's light so early. I'm gonna start waking up early to do yoga. I, I feel like I always struggle to like start my day off right and just like wake up. So I feel like doing yoga would be so nice. And it'd be even nicer if I could do it on the beach like this. Oh my god, what a dream. But a little a little corner of my bedroom <laughs> will have to do. I can I can uh, have my character do yoga on the beach and I can dream. That that'll be me someday. Ooh, and over here's our relaxing area. We got something good to drink. 
Maybe something, uh, maybe a little vacation juice? Oh, I thought you could roll across, but there, there is kind of an umbrella on the way. Whoops. And I love this little deck code with the flowers. Like, it looks like they're growing underneath. I always love that. Layering, like, grass or dirt underneath, like, a tile or a plank like this. It makes it look way more 3D. Hi, Cherry. You're so cute. I am one of your fans. You're such a cutie. What an icon. Not who I'd expect on a very purpley island, but you know what? It's fine. She's cute. Sometimes having all your villagers stick to one theme or one color scheme can be tough because sometimes like, I don't feel like there's a lot of purple villagers. Although maybe there are, I don't know. On the go, Chevra, we've, we have definitely met before. I also had you on my town for like a year and I had you for like several years growing up in Wild World. These villagers are so cruel. They're like, oh, who are you? It's like, I'm your best friend, girl. <gasps> Oh, a little fishing rod. I love when people do this in dreams, so you can just go and like, if you want to go fishing, have a little cozy fishing moment. I don't know why fishing on my own town seems so boring, but like doing it in a dream is like, ooh, exciting. We love our little lighthouse moment here. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Oh, look at this build. Okay, let me pan up my camera. This is so nice. Oh my goodness, I love, I'm guessing it's kind of like a soap perfume store. Little perfumery, because we've got like the lotion pump and these little bottles here um, and the giant like tank. It's like, yeah, they're like making like lavender essential oil for like beauty products. This is so unique. Oh, a photo, let me get a photo. That is so unique, I love it. And of course, yes, we have more lavender flowers. A little lavender flag. I love that the fl this flag like matches this code so well. I don't know if all these codes are from the same designer or not, but like they all match so perfectly. So nice. I love this. You know, let's just go ahead and see the whole beach so that we don't um, forget about it later. Got another little relaxing spot here. Some blankies sitting out. <gasps> Oh, we love us a strawberry patch. You know I love me some strawberries. Oh, I see Avels, but I'm gonna wait to look at it until we're actually at that part of the island. I just wanna make sure I see the whole beach since, yeah, it looks like it's not accessible from these upper levels. And I love back here, we have a little fishing area. Love it. Oh my gosh, and the little swimming shop. Look at this, we've got snorkels and surfboards. Oh, I love it. Honestly, it goes to show that even if you have like a super like cottage core or spring core island, you can still have very summery beachy builds. Like the fact that there's surfboards and fishing boats, it doesn't feel any less like cottage core to me. Like you can make it work. Love it. Okay, let's head back this way. All right, back to this little perfumery. So nice. Oh, and it's on its own little, like, island. I love that. Let's go across the bridge here. And we're back down towards the beach. Just this cute little walkway. Okay, and there's that fountain we saw earlier. All right, so that's this whole lower area. That's so cute. I love it. Oh, okay, and Abel's does connect right back here. Let's just go over and see. And of course... No surprise, she's decorated with lots of clothes. We've got our cute little clothing line. Remember when the game first came out? I feel like this item had a chokehold on everyone. Like if you didn't have a clothesline somewhere on your island, you weren't cool. It was like just the best item. It just feels so cozy. Oh, okay, and yeah, our, our little strawberry patch is right here. I could see maybe the sisters like to grow strawberries in their free time and bake stuff with it. Love it. Got our little sewing machine out here. It'd be so cozy, just like sewing and embroidering, sitting out in the the sunshine, enjoying the sea breeze. All right, now I think it's about time we head up this incline. Ooh, we got a little lookout moment. Let's see. Oh, I love this. I love builds like this. I tried doing something like this recently on my 
my town Ichigo where you're like looking across a lake and then there's like a little house in the distance. It's just so pretty. I love how, I don't know, I just love when you can see things off in the distance in this game. I love a good lookout point. I love how it gets all like misty and foggy in the distance. It's just so pretty. And we've got our other cute little wind turbines too in the distance. It's so pretty. Oh, look at the little bird houses. I love like the, I'm gonna take a photo. That's a smart idea. I love the little like mismatched bird houses. I feel like this is an item I forget exists. I forget to make this DIY all the time, but it's so cute. And we've got our little, our little ducks over here. I so need a birdhouse on my town. Let's go this way. We have some actual birdies that have been hanging out in my yard lately and they're like, they've tried to make a nest in one of our little hanging uh, plant baskets, but it's on our front step and I think we just like go in and out too much because they get scared. Um, but it's so cute. Sometimes I'll, I'll wake up early in the morning and I go and I see and there's just a little, a little morning dove sitting in our hanging basket. Okay, I definitely didn't go this way, the, the right way. I don't think I was meant to go that direction, but whatever. Oh, yay, and our first villager house. Let's go see. I know all the houses are decorated. I definitely want to see them all. Oh, it's Marshall, my baby. Hi. Hi, King. I love you. I could even sing karaoke and pull it off. Do it. Serenade us. What would he sing? What would you sing for us? I don't know what kind of music Marshall would listen to. I'm like, is he a, is he a Swifty? Would he listen to like rap, like something you wouldn't expect of him? I could see him being a little rapper, dude. <laughs> a little rapper boy. Okay, anyways, he is not a rapper in this town. He's obviously running a little, little like fish fry place. He's, he's cooking fish, serving it up. I'm honestly not a fan of seafood, but tell me why this looks so good. Tell me why I could, oops, my bad. Tell me why I could go to town on this right now. Video game food just looks better than real food. I love this. He's got his own little business. He's a little girl boss running his own restaurant. I love that for him. We love to see it. I always feel like I have to make my villagers have like a proper house and not like a restaurant or a business, but it's honestly so much more fun when you go in their house and it's like they own something. I'm trying to decide the one villager house that I'm not done with on my town is Zucker. And I'm like, should he have a little like sushi bar or something? I think that'd be cute. Also, this low key looks disgusting, but also good. Like kind of grossed out. Like there's some, there's some like weird black stuff in there, but also why does it look good? <laughs> Why does it look good? Oh, what a cute little... I love, 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 love the Lily of the Valleys. Oh my god, and this code! I need that code. Um, Flurry on my town has a yard full of these flowers, so I need that code. And let's go see whose house this is. I love a cute little flowery garden. All right, let's see. Who lives here? Fang! Oh! Our little old grandpa with his little, he's got a little green thumb with his little flowers. That is so sweet. I have never had Fang. Can you believe that? I've never once had Fang on a town. And he is so cute. I love the crankies. I love the wolf villagers. And he is just so pretty. Like the neutral color palette. Like he could literally go with any theme. I can't believe I've never had him on a town before. And yes, he's running a little flower shop. I love that for him. Put your feet up and sit a spell, kiddo. I would love to. He is so precious. Oh, and he even got his little purple eyeshadow. He is on brand for this island. We love to see it. And if you do visit this town on your own, which I always recommend, there will be different villagers home. So some of the people that I don't get to see, like if they're outside wandering, uh, you might get to see them. I always love, love, love seeing different villager interiors. I sometimes like to revisit these towns multiple times. Um, 
just to see who's home. Like here, someone who lives here. Raymond! Oh, he's not home, but it looks like he's probably gonna have some sort of a like art studio, museum moment. I love that. I love this code so much, or it's not a code. I'm pretty sure this is one of the default designs. I wish we could put that just like as a painting out. Cause it is so pretty. Oh, where does this go? Is this where we came up? I think this, okay, yeah, this is where we first started. I wanna make sure that I saw all the houses over here. I am always getting lost on these island tours and I hate when I miss things. It makes me sad. Ooh, okay, it's giving nail salon. It's giving jewelry shop, let's go see. Oh, and the little code, I just noticed there was a custom code on that wedding sign board that was like nail polish bottles. I'll have to point that out again when we go back outside. Oh, well, Mallory, of course. She so would own a nail salon, even though she does I just noticed she has little stripes on her tail. Her little booty. She's got little white stripes on her booty. I've never noticed that. I never noticed that. Kind of a random detail. She is so cute, though. Like, don't get me wrong. I love Molly. I love Freckles. But I think Mallory is an underrated queen, underrated duck villager. But I love her little salon. She's got her hair washing station here. Um, we've got a spot to like sit and do your makeup. Got nail polish here. I love we've got like fancy infused water to drink. So nice. Y'all, I tried to make infused water for the first time. I did cucumber and mint. It was the nastiest thing I've ever had. It tasted like soggy cucumber and there was like no mint flavor whatsoever it was not good <laughs> it was not good yeah look at this coat with the cute little nail polish bottles i love that maybe i'll have to try doing infused water with like fruit um like in this game oh my god cheese store let me in damn it chevra i want your cheese i'm definitely gonna have to visit again Oh my god, did I know that there's a golden milk bottle? Look at that. Is that just a different customization of this? Or is that like a DIY? Honestly, I never pay attention to the gold DIYs. So it, it could be, it could not be, I don't know. This is so perfect for her though. She got her little cheese shop. They know what the girlies love, cheese and nails. Go get your nails did, get your cheese for your charcuterie. They know, they know what we want. Okay, and I think this is, okay, this is like a little back, uh, sneaky, sneaky shortcut to where we were before. I just love hopping around to all the places that I'm definitely not supposed to go. I love sneaking around. Sheldon, hi! I love you. He is so cute. I'm not a huge fan of jock villagers, but when they're like really tiny and cute like this, it's adorable. Like it's giving five-year-old boy who's trying to be all tough and lifting weights, but he can literally only lift like five pounds. Although let's be real, I have five pound dumbbells at home and like that's that's kind of a lot for me. My arms do be getting sore just from a five pound dumbbell. Let's be honest, you guys. I, oh my god, okay, I'm stealing this idea. It's like a little flower coat, like the kind that you'd put on the ground. But they put it on the bottles! That's so pretty! Yeah, it's this code right here. Like a code you'd normally just put on the ground, but on the bottle. That's so big brain! I love it! And of course we have a campsite. No one's in there though. I want to know who's in there. I know someone's there. I love that idea. And I love they've got their pancakes. They got their little clothesline and their own little secret beach access. How cute is this? They can just go sit back here, chill, stare at the ocean, play with their little balloon. <laughs> love this. Enjoy some music. Love it. Oh my goodness. Duckies. Love me a good duck. Love me an island that has ducks everywhere. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty. 
this little round pathway around this little pergola. Oh my God, it's so pretty. And it's, I hate that you can't put furniture inside here, but putting the path code on the floor definitely helps um, make it look a little more filled in. I love it. So pretty and I love, okay, now that I think about it, it's been only purple flowers and then these white cosmos, the whole island. That's kind of nice. It's kind of nice when they're all matchy matchy. Love it. Oh, and a little reading corner. I love it. I would so love to just sit here in a little rocking chair and read some books. So cozy. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh, okay. I can't resist. I can't resist. What is this? Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, oh, secret access to the back of the town. Okay, I think I want to just go this way naturally, though, but that's that's cool. They got like a little secret access. Oh, I jumped. Oh, my God. I jumped up on the cliff. That was that was fun. That was fancy. Definitely like useful, you know, like if you're actually playing on this town, sometimes running up to the front of your island is such a pain. I love that. Okay, and then I did see resident services was right here. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, let's go. Let's go get a, a better look out of this. I love me a rock circle. And this one is so pretty. We've got our little purple and white flowers again. And there's a cute little pond in the middle. I love this. This is so nice next to resident services. Oh my God, pizza. Yummy. It is lunchtime right now, so I'm a little hungry. I think my cats are hungry because he keep <laughs> Casper keeps walking in and out and just looking at me. He's like, where is my food, human? Oh my god, pizza sounds so good right now. I don't know what I'm having for lunch. I made some soup last night, so I might have leftover soup. We will see. We will see. Okay, and this is back where we were. Okay, so this is the incline that was up front. And it basically just leads you to this little lookout. Love that. I love, let me just see. It looks like we have a little wine moment over here. A little, little grapevine moment. It makes me bad how we have like the grape. There's like the one, there's like the grape backpack and the little grape dish. Why is there not like actual grapevine items? Why would Nintendo do this to us? But this still looks pretty cute. Like you can tell this is meant to be a, a little vineyard. And I love this flag. Again, using the little like handheld flags as decoration. Very big brain, love to see it. Ooh, do we have a cul-de-sac? Yes, we do. I love a little round moment. I guess it's not really cul-de-sac because the, the streets continue on Should, shouldn't a cul-de-sac technically end i guess it does end here but whatever i'm getting too technical let's see our houses Ooh, a little pottery moment sheldon is he a little a little pottery king making vases i love to see that i can see that okay pottery takes so much upper body strength i don't know if you've ever tried to do pottery before but like oh my god it's a it's a workout, so I could see a jock villager being into pottery. Oh, and a wedding store! Ah, oh, I'm sad we can't go in. Okay, and this leads back to our little campsite. This is so cute, though. I love how they all have their own little, like, businesses. Ooh, okay, this place is open. It looks like it's gonna be a bike shop, because we've got... I did not know you could actually spray the spray paint. We're just spray painting that poor flower to death. Got a bike and some tires. Is it going to be like a bike repair shop? A little bike store? I love that. This definitely feels like the kind of town that you would want to bike through. Oh, it's Ozzy! And yes, it is a bike repair. I love that. I love all the bikes sitting out and the one up on the wall. This is so cute. 
Oh, bear. Oh my God. Is that his default cash phrase? That is so cute. Oh, bear. I should make, I should make Gonzo say that because I have Gonzo on my town and he actually is an old, an old koala bear. He asked to move out this morning. I was very offended. He was like in my front yard holding a donut and thinking and he was like, it's time to move on. I was like, no, it's not, sir. I love you and you're never leaving. So rude that he thought he could just leave my town. And we got another bakery. Never enough bakeries. We got cake. We got jam. And I love this one. The one up front had peach pie. Uh, this one's got a cherry pie. Oh my god. I love cherry pie. I'm not a huge pie person. Like, I would absolutely... I don't like apple pie. Cooked apples gross me out. The texture gives me the ick. But cherry pies? Delicious. Amazing. 20 out of 10. Oh, and this is Lily's house. She's a little baker queen. Love to see it. Oh, and I love... Can we go down here? We can't go down here. I was like, is there a little, is there a little like bridge or some, or uh, a ladder? There is not. I love little sneaky things. I'm always trying to find like, are there sneaky areas that I can go through? All right, let's go across here. I feel like there's been like a thousand bridges on this town. I'm like, how did you get past the 10 limit? I feel like there's been like 20. I love this little garden. Oh, I see we have a human over there. I'll have to say, hopefully catch him later and say hello. Got a little garden. Who lives here? Who's our little local gardener? Our little veggie king? Who we got? Who's here? It's Muffy, right? Muffy. Muffy, yes. Goth vegetable queen? You know what? That makes sense. Night, because she says nightshade. She says nightshade. Aren't like, aren't like, egg, isn't an eggplant considered a nightshade? Right? Like, aren't cer like certain vegetables are technically like kind of poisonous, aren't they? I think eggplant is. Do, aren't like potatoes actually poisonous? I feel like I've read like potatoes technically are like very toxic. But usually, it, that's like, that's why you can't give them to your cats. Because, like, they can't tolerate any amount. But, like, we can eat it. But once they start turning green, that's when, like, humans can't eat them. Because I guess whatever's in them starts to get really strong. I don't know if y'all have ever eaten a potato that's starting to turn green. But I, I don't recommend it. It's not fun. <laughs> not fun. Some fruits and veggies you can eat when they're kind of soggy and old. Some, absolutely not. Um... I learned that the hard way with mushrooms a while back. If your mushrooms are starting to get slimy, for the love of God, don't eat them. <laughs> I did that once and I kind of haven't had mushrooms since because it was it was traumatic. It was not a good time. But anyways, let's not think about gross, nasty mushrooms. Let's think about all these cute vegetables she's selling. Love to see it. This is such a nice store. I'm sure your produce is great, Muffy. I'm sure your produce would never make me sick or traumatized. <laughs> I'm sure she's doing her best job. This is so cute though. I love me a little garden. Our little water uh, spigot here. So cute. Raymond! Oh my god, hi king. Have we met? Literally again, I had him. He taught me the love reaction, I'm pretty sure. Or no, 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 he, it's not that one. It's the, um, they teach you this reaction. I remember I had him on my town and he was like, let me teach you a reaction. And he does this and screams, I love you. And I was like crying because I was like high key obsessed with Raymond back in like 2020, you know, when we were like all obsessed with Raymond. I like cried a little when he did that. I was like, I love you too. And then I got rid of him on my town. Oops. My bad, Raymond. I had like four smugs in my town at one point. It was starting to get a little bit too much. Like I love the smugs, but I can only handle so many. I have two right now and it's it's honestly kind of overwhelming. Oh, here we go. Here's the money shot. Here's the thumbnail. Oh my lord, she's beautiful. 
Let's get that. Let's get the shot. Let's get the shot. Let's get one without me in it as well. Oh my god, I love these little swirly, like, like little cinnamon roll swirly lakes. It's so cute. And I see it. Can I climb down here? I can. I love that. It's so pretty. I love it. And all the cute little flowers and butterflies. Oh, and we have, this is the first area we've had different flowers. We have some pink. What are your favorite flowers in the game? I used to be hardcore about these pink hyacinths, but I feel like the pink wind flowers are kind of stealing my heart. They're honestly so cute. I love them. I mean, honestly, all the flowers in this game are pretty cute, except the pansies. I'm kind of like not a pansy fan. No offense, pansies. But yeah, those pink wind flowers have my whole heart. We've got a clock store. Hello. I've like never seen this. I've never seen someone do a clock store. That is so cute though. That could also very, work really well. Like a very cottage core, very town core. You've got like your little clock maker. You know, like if you have an old school clock, you have to go take them in to like get them wound and like fixed oh and a flower shop there's so many businesses on this town oh my goodness little little commerce central we love to see it this town has a nice healthy local economy so many small business owners we love to see it i love this little beach they're little are those the babooshes <laughs> Is that, is this just the re regular slipper? Or I know there's like a babouche shoe item. <laughs> They're so cute. A little, oh, I didn't realize I was gonna put it out, my bad. Our little campfire. Love me a good ruined archway as well. Oh, and a little, there's like a little party area. I love it. It's giving like birthday party vibes. Oh, and of course, nice fresh honey. I'm terrified of bees, so I'm gonna go through this area quickly, but you guys are nice, right? You wouldn't hurt me, you wouldn't sting me. I've actually never been stung by a bee, so maybe that's why I'm so scared of them, because I'm like terrified that it's gonna be like painful as hell. But I don't I don't think it honestly, I don't think it's probably as bad as it it seems. I don't know. I feel like when you're a kid, like bee stings seem so scary. And then like you get older and it's like, oh yeah, whatever. I got stung by a bee. It's like getting bit by a mosquito, you know? Although I don't really get bit by mosquitoes either. They don't like me. Maybe I just like taste bad. Maybe I smell funky and they're like, ugh. We don't want any of this person. Ooh, okay. Let's sneaky sneaky back here. We're gonna hop across. I wonder if the only way to access this part of the town it looks like, yeah, you would have had to climb here or hop or use that little pole or not pole, the um, pipe, the other, the other P word, the little pipe that, that took us. Wait, I want to, I want to sit here. Are you teaching me how to paint? And I love the painting is obviously like this beach, like she's painting her own house. That is so pure. That makes me so happy when people do that. And we gotta go in and see her house, of course, because she said everything's decorated. And I've been loving all the other interiors on this town so far. Let's go see. Ooh, nice. I love using partition walls to like change the shape of the rooms. Lately, I've been very bored with just decorating like square rooms in this game. So whenever I've been playing Happy Home, I'm almost always using partition walls to change the shape and I love this we've got just like our little entryway here and then like a nice little sitting room let's go see what's in the back here we've got a back room and a right room it looked like the left room was blocked off oh cute little bedroom this is so cozy very relaxing I love all the candles we got our aromatherapy little oil diffuser going so nice I'm always forgetting to run my oil diffuser, but whenever I do remember to run it, especially at nighttime with a little lavender oil, amazing. 20 out of 10. Ooh, we got our key tray. I love a key tray. 
one of my favorite like random items in this game. Perfect for decorating like your awkward little entrance areas. I never know what to put in the front of the house, but cute little kitchen. And I love using those little store shelves. It's like a pantry. Um, it's like tucked back behind this wall. So yeah, it's like a little walk-in pantry. We got all sorts of goodies back there. Looks like we got some tea, some pancake mix. Love it to see it. This is so stinking cute. Oh, we have stuff on the back wall. I'm always forgetting to rotate my cameras to see the other walls. That is so cute. Very nice and minimalist. I feel like the whole island, like it's fully decorated, but it's not overwhelming. Like it's not been hard to navigate. It's not like every single tile is filled in, uh, which some people like myself feel the need to do. Oh, I love this. Taking the whole top room for like the most luxurious bathroom. We've got this adorable sink. Got our, our, got our pooper. We ready to poop. Doing our business. Oh my goodness. Let's go wash our hands now. Um, good hygiene always. Please wash your hands after you poop. And got our laundry moment. A little walk-in shower. Ugh, oh, I love it. And the claw tub. I want this bathroom. I like for my future or dream home, I want like a rather simple home. I don't want to have a huge home that's going to take forever to clean. But bathrooms are the one thing like I want a really extra bathroom. Like I want a huge soaker tub. I want a walk-in shower. I'll just have like a ginormous bathroom and then all the other rooms in my house will be like very small and cottage-like. And then in the back, I love that they fit their house. Honestly, I'm so jealous. They have this giant peninsula. They fit their house on it. And then they've got their own little private beach back here. This is the cutest layout. I'm definitely stealing this idea whenever I have a, a peninsula that's big enough. This is so cute. You can just sit, read, or take a nap by the beach. You can shower off here. Do, 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 do. It's me taking a shower. Have your barbecue. I love it. And I think that's the whole back of the island. Let's let's sneaky take this pipe back up front. And before we finish up, I want to peek. I saw they had a custom design portal up front here. I want to see which of these coats they made themselves, if any. Obviously, they had to have made some sort of code if this is on display. Connecting to the internet. I'm like so emotional about the 3DS servers being shut down and it just has me thinking about someday when the New Horizons servers get shut down. I'm gonna cry. Cause we're not gonna be able to scan codes anymore. Okay, so they made this cute gingham and this little railway. I feel like I'd never seen that railway before. Okay, so that makes sense. Yeah, literally, like, New Leaf is still playable without the online services because, like, you can scan codes with your camera. New Horizons is gonna, like, die when they get rid of online services, though, because, like, how am I supposed to build a town without scanning codes, you know? Like, whenever it does shut down, like, you better be pretty freaking happy with whatever codes you have scanned because you're never gonna get new ones, which makes me so sad. But I think we are a long, 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 long ways away from that happening. We'll have lots of time to build islands until then. But uh, with that, I think this tour is finished. This was such a cute town. Thank you for letting me tour it, Louise. This is so pretty. I hope you all enjoyed watching this. Let me know down below what area you liked. Casper just came back into my room. <laughs> he definitely is ready for his lunch. Um, so I'm going to leave it off here. Uh, thank you all for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Stay peachy.